What happened yesterday is a very optimistic first step uh, towards uh, peace, uh, in my opinion. Um, the past uh, peace talks were a failure, where none of the parties were uh, was like okay, even sitting in one table in front of the another. Uh, I think um, as humanitarians, uh, we have hope always. This is the only thing that we really have, and um, I think uh, we are optimistic, cautiously optimistic, of course. Um, I think the outcome was was good. It wasn't really up to our um, expectations, especially um, what um, what was agreed upon or not agreed upon, actually, for Tanz, uh, which is the siege city, um, which should have been, and uh, we urged them to have it as a priority. People are suffering there. One of the core issues was the salaries and alleviating the suffering of the people. It is one of the drivers of famine in Yemen, and it should have been addressed as a priority. More. The prisoner release was also one of the main uh, competence uh, measures that we are very proud that uh, that happened. It brings us closer to peace because it's not just what happened in Stockholm or in Sweden, and also what happened last night in the U.S. and how like there is this overall uh, uh, international atmosphere that is pushing everyone towards you know toward ending the conflict ending the war and uh, I, I feel that, i think that there is an international will finally after almost four full years full of tragedy full of like eight thousand uh, young child have died of famine cholera Finally, um, I think I, I feel that there is an, uh, like you know a will from the whole international community to end the, the suffer of the people.